sorry, Chris Perry, University Nationals, day one in the books, last match. First off, I see you getting a little uh, caught, a little uh, flat-footed. You get double leg. Did that wake you up a little bit? Yeah. Um, you know, I'm just. I think I was. You know, I was getting ready to shoot. I just kind of got caught on my heels a little bit. Uh, good lesson learned. You know, just uh, make sure my feet are moving at all times, and you know, expect you know anybody to shoot. I didn't expect him to shoot. Probably, I thought he was going to be more defensive. And uh, but uh, no, no big deal. You know, those things sometimes are what you need to get going. And uh, I felt good and throughout the day. Uh, just got to keep rolling tomorrow, and I know tomorrow's the big day for me. 86 kilos, gaining a little weight. How does that feel? Oh, it's. I'm not gaining too much, but I, you know, I was pretty light weighed in at 80, 186 pounds, so I was pretty light, you know, quite a bit under. But um, you know, I, I don't. No reason to wrestle 80 kilos. It's not a weight, you know, at the World Championships anywhere. And uh, I plan on wrestling trials next week. And you know, I, even though I'm giving up some weight, I feel fine. You know, I, I don't feel like horsepower is a big difference to me. I, you know, I train with guys that are. You know, weigh 210 pounds all the time, and I'm fine with it. And I wrestled overseas at the weight last year, and I felt fine at it. And you know, uh, but I feel good. You know, I'm healthy. I'm excited to be back and wrestling, and uh, glad to be, you know, glad to be here. You know, I've got two weeks in a row. I'm excited about, and uh, just keep getting after it. Early on, I remember you had some. I'm saying like early on, like 09, 2009, 2010. You had big wins over guys that were senior level guys, and then you kind of took some time off of freestyle, maybe to focus on folk style. Was that what that break was for so you could win two NCAA titles? Yeah, that's definitely my focus. I've grown up. The NCAA tournament is all I cared about. You know, uh, I didn't focus on world championships and stuff like that. I think that's the next step you take after you get done with college. I wrestled uh, actually overseas last summer. I went uh, with uh, Team USA and all those guys to Poland and Armenia. And I, I got third in both tournaments. You know, we had a, all our senior level guys were there. And uh, I wrestled good. I wrestled, you know, the guy that was silver or bronze in the Olympics. And I was right there. You know, I lost by a takedown and a uh, late takedown and you know I just I want to be honest I didn't go you know I kind of got a late notice that I was going and I just kind of went over there and wrestled you know and I who knows what could have happened if I'd have got more time to train but it's a great experience for me you know I was glad that coach uh, Zeke Jones let me go with him and uh, give me that opportunity to go over there and you know just test myself it doesn't matter when it is it helped my college career to know that you know I've already wrestled guys that are better than you know 90% of the guys that I wrestle in college and uh, so that's always a big benefit for me you know to get the opportunity to wrestle those guys is freestyle suited more for Chris Perry would you say yeah I, I you know I've always I love collegiate just because it's what I've always dreamed of winning national championships and stuff like that but you know deep down I'm better at freestyle you know I, I understand the rules pretty well I you know I, I got real good counter offense I feel like and uh, I understand chest locks I understand I understand the positioning pretty well you know I've always been pretty successful in freestyle and Sometimes, it, you know, I beat guys a lot worse in freestyle than I do in collegiate just because of, the, you know, the style matchup and how it works in freestyle. And so I, I feel good. You know, I, I guess there's a long way to go. I think these next uh, three matches I have coming will show me, you know, where I need to get to before next week. And uh, I'm excited about, you know, finishing this tournament and heading to the World Trials. I look at the success of Oklahoma State guys in the postgraduate. Coleman Scott, I think, made it. You guys have had an Olympian every year since, like, 1904. Yep. Something crazy like that, right? Yeah. yeah. When yeah. you look at that, is that something that drives you? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, now, you know, honestly, I focused on straight college for, you know, for so long. I didn't, you know, I didn't care if I would want, I wasn't worried about making world teams. I would just want to win college. And I think now I got to, you know, I got to build that mindset again. You know, it's coming off a season like I had. You know, sometimes you kind of are like, oh, this thing, you know, college is finally over. And, you know, you don't have to go through that grind. I love the grind and I, you know, I just love training and so I think it's just a different mentality now. I got to switch it over to, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be, you know, the best guys in the world and I think, you know, uh, collegiate is sometimes a little different. You feel like you can win, you know, you're, you're going into a lot of matches knowing that you're probably going to win by a certain amount or you expect bonus points and never know what to expect in freestyle now. So uh, I'm excited about it and uh, I think the Olympics is definitely a goal for me. I think it's a goal for a lot of guys we have training, Jordan Oliver, me, Tyler Caldwell. It's the next step for us. We, you know, I don't, I don't see a lot of this. A lot of us done wanting to compete. We love to compete. And that's our thing, and we've all grown up. Just, it's hard to get away from it. You know, it doesn't matter how old you are. It's just, it's real hard to leave. You know, being a competitor. It's hard. You know, you get in the room, you start thinking you got time off, and then you're just like, you can't take time off. It's like I said. You know, I wanted time off after national. I just couldn't. I just felt like I had to be in the room. It's just the lifestyle that we live, and we love it. And, you know, hopefully, we can get.
get some Olympians in the next Olympics. Your brother, you know, his body was pretty broken, and I think that's why he kind of went right into the coaching. You're fairly healthy from what I notice. Do you think, do you see a long career? Do you see multiple cycles within your career? Probably not. I wouldn't say multiple cycles, but uh, I think I just got to see where I'm at. I think uh, these next two weeks are going to really show me a lot, you know, where I'm at at this weight class, if the weight's affecting me, if it's not affecting me. You know, uh, I think this, I'm giving up a lot of weight to some guys, but I haven't seen a difference yet. And I think, you know, adding the two kilos from last year, obviously, that gives some, some of those 211 pounders opportunity to cut down. And, you know, that's, that's a big guy. Yeah. Me wrestling 74 in college and him coming from 211, but at the same time, um, we'll just have to see. And I think next week is in this or these tomorrow, you know, it's a two day weigh in, it's probably not as realistic, you know, it's because trials are one day tournament. And, but um, we'll find out tomorrow. I got some big guys. I have a kid from Bloomsburg, Perry, tomorrow, who's 97 pounder, and then uh, who knows, I don't know who I'll have after that, but I got some big guys, and uh, I think we're gonna find out tomorrow. I stand with strength and uh, power with these guys, and I don't think it's going to be a problem for me. Do you pressure a set on the pressure button? You know, like you had to win the two NCAA titles. I think you thrived off the pressure. Yeah. Now, obviously, Uncle John Smith, six time world champ, two time Olympic gold medalist. Do you pressure a set on that and think about that at all? No, I, NCAA is just a different thing. Uh, NCAA is everybody in the family has it. You know, uh, not everybody in our family has an Olympic championship. And, it's hard to get one, you know, in general, and don't get me wrong, that's the plan. I don't expect anything less than winning it if I, you know, make the team and go after it. But at the same time, NCAA is just, it's a different season. It's a, I was telling somebody the other day, it's just, a, you know, I came out of high school and got third in the Open, and then I didn't place at the NCAAs. It's just, it's a different type of ball game, you know, college wrestling and this, and I think it's more of a middle game in college. You know, you got to stay in the fight and stay in the battle all year round, and understand that you know you're gonna have ups and downs and how to bounce back and it's just different you know and uh, a lot of people uh, I think a lot of guys that are done with college understand that that were successful in college it's it's a different you still got to train the same way but it's a different mindset you know it's every week one hour weigh ins there's, there's a lot more to college wrestling than people understand all right you got anything else for me no you guys are awesome you know I love the coverage and uh, thanks for everything you guys do all right good luck tomorrow thanks